Dixon, I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Happy Sabbath. Um, yes, Saturday is the Sabbath. Praise God. Give him glory and give him honor every day. I don't care what you're going through. You made it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He gave you the gift of life. He said, touch her. He said, touch him. That's what he told the angels as he stood beside you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So give him glory. Give him honor. Let me go ahead and get into my message. This is day six. I pray that you are having a blessed day. I pray that the fast is blessing you. Your life will not be the same. I decree it and declare it to be so. God says, speak. Come on, somebody. Life or life depth and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it should eat the food thereof i speak death to everything that threatens your destiny and life to everything that gives it life come on somebody hallelujah god bless you god bless you hallelujah kim evans i love you too i love all of you god bless you god keep you all right so let me just go ahead into it day six of the 14 day full liquid fast Purging from all demonic spirits and dealing with spiritual growth. God wanted me to talk about this today on the Sabbath. Isn't that something? All right. So here's what's going on. Do you ever notice when you're on a fast? First of all, the first thing that happens, you're purging. We're talking about not just the toxins of your body, but everything. Because first of all, your spirit is clear so you can hear. You are more sensitive to the spirit than you've ever been. But also, you have to understand your emotions are open. And actually, it's dangerous because, I, I'm going to tell you something, demonic activity will increase. Demonic spirits will try to get in because guess what? Your house is getting clean. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know the verse that says that when the house is clean, if you don't fill it up with something else, then you go back and get seven other more demons that's more powerful. That stuff is real. So you have to watch it doing this fast. Demonic spirits are real and dealing with spiritual growth. Now, what am I saying? When you are sensitive to the spirit, you can pick up things more easily. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can pick up spirits as long. I mean, you could enter a room. You're like a radar. God says you have to learn how to deal with it. You can't become angry because now you start seeing people for who they really are. You'll start seeing things in the spirit like never before. You'll start understanding in the spirit like never before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. And so as you grow, you know, but you're purging from everything. So let me walk this up out because this is pretty much a Bible study. Again, they all are. So let me go ahead. Just one moment here. Let's see. I think I'm starting right here. Oh, I want to read this. Yeah. All right. So first of all, uh, again, it's a lot of teaching, not therefore preaching. Because, you know, one thing I'm learning more and more, we have enough preaching. Oh, come on, somebody. How do y'all know it's the truth? It's time for teaching. Because preaching is good. It's like your flesh. And yeah, you get all roused up, emotional. And oh, hallelujah. But when you taught something, it stays with you forever. Come on, somebody. So what happens during fasting and praying? In the Bible, fasting is always connected with prayer. While they worship the Lord, it's about worshiping God. It's about worshiping God and fasting. The Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. That's what fasting does. It prepares you for your destiny and your calling. Most people don't want to fast. They want to eat or they want to have fun. Y'all know that. What fasting does spiritually? Spiritual benefits of spiritual fasting are always similar to those of regular dietary fasting. Abstaining from food and taking a break from digestion allows your body to rest and heal. When you allow for this break, your soul is also cleansed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk this thing out, you guys. Bear with me. Y'all know my little skills. <laughs> All right, so hold on here. I got to go back to this. Uh, th I think I have to go one more. Hold on. Hold on. I think this is it. Okay, yes. All right, so let me make it a little smaller. All right, so step one, you got to set your objective. Why are you fasting? Most people, I'm telling you, they fast because there's a diet or just doing it because everybody else done it. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. When you go on a corporate fast, it is better because now you have somebody to encourage you, your brother, your sister, and yourself as well. So let's continue with the teachings. Why are you fasting? Is it a spiritual renewal for guidance, for healing, for the resolution of problems, for special grace to handle a difficult situation? Ask the Holy Spirit to clarify his leading and objectives for your prayer fast. You have to ask God. 
This will enable you to pray more specifically and strategically. Through fasting and prayer, we humble ourselves before God so the Holy Spirit will stir our souls, awaking our churches. Oh, hallelujah. You see, it ain't just about January fasting, y'all. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know every church in America going on a fast in January, right? Right after they eat November and December. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm just being real. But I love the way it says I'm going to try to awaken our churches and heal our land. According to 2 Chronicles 17, 14, make this our priority in fasting. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. I said that. Um, also, fasting is the way that the saints of God receive the breakthrough to direct them and help them in a crisis in their lives. Come on, somebody. What exactly is fasting? Fasting is del deliberate abstinence from physical gratification. I'm going to say it again. Fasting is deliberate abstinence from physical gratification, usually going without food for a period of time to achieve a spiritual goal. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Um, okay. I already read that one. All righty. Y'all got to watch. Hold on. Got to navigate here, you guys. So I've got to go to three now. Or actually, two. All right. So step two. Make your commitment. Pray about the kind of fast you should undertake. Jesus implied that all his followers should fast. And that was in Matthew 16, 18, 9, 14, 15. For him, it was a matter of when believers would fast, not if they would do it. Before you fast, decide the following up front. How long you will fast? One meal, one day, a week, several weeks, 40 days. Beginners should slowly start building up to longer fast. You know, and I'm glad I'm doing this teaching because a lot of people, they don't know how to fast. So I said I want to try to help you guys out here. Hold on a minute. Y'all know I'll be trying to maneuver stuff, right? Okay, step three, prepare yourself spiritually. The very foundation of fasting and prayer is repentance. Unconfessed sin will hinder your prayers. Here are several things you can do to prepare your heart. First of all, ask God to help you make a comprehensive list of your sins. That's between you and God. You ain't got to tell nobody else that. Confess every sin that the Holy Spirit calls to your remembrance and accept God's forgiveness. One thing you have to forgive yourself because we all fall short of the glory of God. Some of y'all be holding yourself in captivity and, and allow other people to do it too. That's not of God. Okay. Um, seek forgiveness from all you have offended and forgive all who have hurt you. Make restitution as the Holy Spirit leads you. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit according to his command in Ephesians 5, 18 and his promise. Surrender your life fully to Jesus Christ as your Lord and master refuse to obey worldly nature. This is why I say Kanye not saved. Surrender your life fully to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior refuse to obey your worldly nature. Period. End of story. I don't care what nobody say. Meditate on the attributes of God, his love, sovereignty, power, wisdom, faithfulness, grace, compassion, and others. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Let me go back to my main one right here. All right. Praise God. Praise God. So I got some other things that I want to just read to you, actually. I have some paperwork right here that I printed out. All right, so fasting does not move God. It moves us. It helps us during our time of prayer. It helps us during the time that we have set apart for him. It helps us to hear from God better. We become increasingly tuned in. So when you fast, you're tuning in. Before God comes in revival power, the Holy Spirit will call us to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek his face, to turn from our wicked ways. Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, Pray and seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways and I will heal from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. How we respond to this will determine what happens. People, come on somebody, hallelujah. Is God really calling me to fast? You have to ask yourself that. You may ask if God is doing that. All you have to do is fast for a week or even a day and it may seem impossible for your schedule. But you have to understand, you have to do it unto God. Not just for a diet, not for people, not just because people are do it, doing it. Now, there's different types of fast. There's a complete fast where you have nothing. There's the dang you fast and there's the liquid fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So you just have to make a commitment, make a commitment. How long are you going to do it? And you have to ask God to keep you. I'm going to be honest with you. These are not 
I don't do easy fasts. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it's not about, oh, we're so great and look what we're doing. No, this is for real. While you're fasting, you're supposed to be praying. You're supposed to be, I, I'm praying. Oh, I got up five o'clock this morning. I'm praying over my list of people. I, I pray for everybody on Facebook, YouTube, the whole world, my family, your family. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We do this for real. This is not a game. Father God, keep us. Father God, strengthen us. This ain't because we're on no diet or we're trying to act like we're the best thing. No, we need power of God. And the only way we can have the power of God is we spend time with God. That's what this is about. And you have to prepare yourself spiritually to do this because the enemy is coming. I'm telling you, the enemy will try to make you eat. The enemy will try to get you in chaos. The enemy will try to send strife or anger or anything to try to subdue you. You cannot get out of the will of God. So you get up early in the morning and you lay on that threshing floor and you just go before your God and you pray before your God. And you love before your God. Walk in love, God says, like never before. Because I'm telling you, the enemy will try to get you into strife and anger and everything. But that is not of God. So I just pray that you just keep on understanding who God is and who you are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I want to pray some prayers over you right now. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Nobody can stop God. Hallelujah. I'm on this fast and I'm loving it. Yes, it's not easy. I'm going to be honest with you. But guess what? I'm going to stick up in there. And even after the fast... For for those that want to, I'm going to go ahead on a 21 day fast. So let me read these prayers right now. Your thong, O oh Lord, is a fiery flame. Yes, you are the God that answers by fires. A fire goes before you, O oh Lord, and burns up your enemies. Lord, release your fire and burn up the works of darkness. Baptize me with the Holy Ghost of fire, God. Let your fire be in your hands, in my hands to heal the sick and cast out devils. Let your fire burn, Father God, in my eyes, my heart, my belly, my mouth, and my feet. Hallelujah to his name. Let your fire be a tongue to fire. I can preach and prophesy. Hallelujah. I receive the tongues of fire. Let your word be preached with fire. Make me a minister of fire. Deliver me by your fire. Deliver my sister and brother by your fire. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Let the fire protect us, Lord, and cover us, God. I release the fire of God to burn up everything. All the idols in the land in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the works of witchcraft and occultism be burned by fire in the name of Jesus. Father God, purify our lives with fire. Let your fire be released in Zion, God. Let the spirits of lust and perversion be destroyed by your fire, God. Release the spirit of burning to burn up the world of darkness, God. Let your flame burn up the wicked spirits, God. Let your fire kindle, Father God, like a burning fire. Oh, hallelujah. Let it be over our life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I just thank you, Lord. I decree and declare to be so like no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every word that come out of my mouth, Father God, you will perform it to the end of that thing through Jesus Christ coming, God. I pray of everybody that's on this line, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you bless them physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, Father God. I pray that you strengthen their mind, their soul, and their body, Father God. I decree and declare every witchcraft spirit, hex, vex, generational curse, Father God, is severed by the power of the Holy Ghost, the fire of God, to the root of that thing, God. And I just thank you. You God right now that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. And I say and I ask this in your precious son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, God. We give you honor. Let us say amen, amen, amen. Prayers is real. Excuse me, I'm a little hoarse, y'all. But prayers is real. The power of God is real. And I say this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. God is real. God is real. God is real. Don't you dare give up. I don't care. I know it's hard. Let me tell you something. In this world, you should have much tribulation, saith the Lord. But I am with you. Lo, I am with you. Lo, I have went through it, saith the Lord. I have been tempted. I have been tested. I have been tried, just like you, saith the Lord. But I will forever, ever gird you and hold you. And I'll be with you to death, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing. So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray that you just understand what time it is. It's time to get serious people. God didn't ask you to be perfect, but he did ask you to be faithful. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless you. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.